How are you? Good, how are you doing, sir? Good, I'm Jeremy. Jeremy Kevin Kovac. Nice to meet you. It's my partner, Matt Saylor. Nice to meet you. Hi, McKenna. Hi, McKenna. Hi. I'm Kevin. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm Matt. Nice to I just want to talk to her alone. I think Matt wants to speak with you. Hard right office. Okay, that'd be great. Yep. You okay with that? Yep. All right. You're not in trouble. No. <laughs> Okay, can I get your name again? It's Jeremy. J E R E M Y? Yep. Lindstrom, L A N D S T R O M. And your name is? Jennifer Lindstrom. Hey, Oh, man. Right before bedtime. Okay. What was your son's name again? Caden. 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 K A D E N. And he's the one that just had a birthday? Yep. Yeah. And so his party was. Last Sunday, Sunday. Just Sunday. 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 Sunday, like two days ago. Okay. August twelfth. And my understanding is that um, Chris was here for that. Yes. Okay. How do you guys with know him? Girls. With both well, girls. I work with them at Longmont Ford. You work with? I work with Chris and she oh. and both. Okay. When they got out here from North Carolina, that's uh, that's the dealership that brought them out here. Oh, uh, okay. But they haven't worked there in several years. Yeah. You know when last? How long ago they quit working there? She left before he did to work at Children's Hospital. She left when she was pregnant with Bella. Yeah, so and four Bella, years yeah, ago. Four years, ago. Four years ago. Four or five years ago. I would guess his was probably two or three years ago. Cause she got him the job at the, with the oil field and started making more money and he went. <laughs> but they both moved out here to work there at the dealership from? He, he did and she just got a job there because okay. she didn't have anything else going on. How, how long ago did they move out here? <laughs> Roughly. Uh, I would say... Six? Seven years? Yeah, I was going to say probably 2010-ish. Give or take, right? Well... Yeah, because I mean, it was a couple of years before Bell, Bella was born. So she was born in 2013. Had to be around 2010. Yeah, or 11. Somewhere in there. Yeah. It's just a couple years. Okay. You guys been friends with them that whole time? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Are you kind of casual friends? Are you guys like good friends with them? Do you hang out with them a lot? It's kind of one of those like you've got a best friend and you only see each other a few times a year, but nothing nothing let, leads off. Right. Yeah. Okay. People, like. Birthday parties, we always see them for their birthday parties, for their birthday parties, maybe a couple barbecues a year. Came on Father's Day for a barbecue. Yep. Yep. And so Chris was here with um, both. Bella and CC. Yeah. Okay. What was his demeanor when he was here? Normal. Okay. He's always kind of a quiet dude. Yeah. Doesn't show emotion very much. Um, yeah. yeah. Watching after the girls, mostly. Okay. How many people were here roughly? Taylor, Jordan, Emmett, us, and then just kids. Yeah. So like, yeah, most of our neighbors were out of town. Yeah, so like five or six adults and a bunch of kids. Uh, yeah, five or six kids. Yeah. Bella, Buddy, yeah. Emmett, yeah. Kylie Austin was over here. Yeah. So Jackson, like two seconds. Bring it back to Fortnite. <laughs> Do you want to eat this, buddy? Do you want me to open this? Kylie, can you open this with me? Before Sunday, when was the last time you talked to 
either Chris or. I guess it would have been Saturday. He te well, maybe Friday because he texted me to see if McKenna could watch the girls so he could go to the Rockies game. He won tickets at work or something. Oh, okay. Um, and then I texted him on Saturday and said, "Hey, I just got Broncos tickets. If you want to go with me to the Broncos game instead." But he said no, his work would get mad if he didn't use the tickets. So. Mom. Yeah. No, it's the Rockies game on Sunday. Saturday. Saturday. Mom, look at those things going. What is this? Coming up. Yeah, it's looking nasty. It's <laughs> northwest of here. It's dark. It dodges us pretty much every time. Really? Yeah. That's good. Oh, the Broncos played Saturday night, didn't they? That's right. Yep, they were okay. both games Saturday night. Okay. <clears throat> Do you know who he went to the Rockies game with? No idea. Okay. But he won tickets at work? Yeah, that's what he said. Okay. And your daughter babysat for him? Yes. Can I, right? Yep. Is that M C K E N N? Did she say anything about how that went Saturday? No, it's normal. She said that the kids just sleep, so it was easy. Okay. <laughs> you know what? What time she went over there? Um, I dropped her off. She's supposed to be there at four thirty, and I dropped her off about four twenty-five. Okay. And did you guys go pick her up? I did. Okay. What time was that? Um, well, I, I left here around ten because she said Chris would probably be home around ten. Okay. So, um, so I left around ten. I got there, I don't know what, less than 10 minutes later, and he, I had him with me because they were at the game. He fell asleep in the car, so I Snapchatted her and asked her if Chris was home yet, and she said no. Um, and I said, okay, well, I'm just going to sit in the car with him because he's sleeping, mm -hmm. and then Chris pulled up probably about 15 minutes later, around 10.30ish. Okay. The hard part this Did you talk to him at all? No. no. He, he went in and went in the garage. I don't even think he... Notice I was parked out there. Oh, okay. Okay. Do you know what car he was driving that night? Um, the white Lexus. White Lexus. SUV. You said he went in through garage. Is that how they normally get in and out of the house? Yeah. And then when we kind of came out, she came out the front door, and the dog ran out after her. So I saw Chris coming in, coming outside to try to get the dog. Kind of. Mom, everybody. Did he park in the garage? Yes. Okay. You said the kids just kind of mm. slept the whole time. Well, they they have a very <clears throat> regimented schedule. So their bedtime is seven. Um, and Chris had ordered pizza for them. He kind of said, and I think they, you know, the pizza got there a while after she got there. They ate, played for a little bit, and then it was time for her to get them ready for bed. Okay. And I think she said that. That Cece went to sleep, but then Bella had come downstairs and said she couldn't sleep. So McKenna had her just come sit down downstairs with her for a few minutes, and then she went back upstairs and was able to fall asleep. She said they're they're really easy to watch compared to these monsters who just not go to bed. No. <laughs> Do you know Bella not being able to sleep? Is that normal? Or did she say why she uh, didn't say anything? She didn't say anything. Okay. Yeah. I don't know, you said the dog ran out the front door? Yeah. What kind of dog do they have? A little wiener dog. Oh, okay. His name is Peter, I think. Yeah. Peter. I'm sorry, what is it? Dieter. Dieter? Yeah. I have no idea how you spell it. Like D-E-T-E-R? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> well, that's, that's how it sounds anyway, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. Peter. Do you have any other pets? I don't think so. Shenan's parents lived with them like 
last year, and they had a couple dogs, but those dogs left with the parents. Okay. Oh, just the one. Did you guys talk to um, Chris on Sunday at the party? Yeah. Yeah. Anything, anything different about him or no? any unusual conversations? No, he was talking to us about they they knew the gender of the baby, but it's in the envelope. Because the reveal party is supposed to be yeah. this week. So they're supposed oh, to reveal okay. the gender this week because you know, they have two girls. So, so that would be cool if it was a boy. I asked him if they needed a crib because we still have his old crib, and I know they got rid of all their baby stuff. Check the top spot, I can smell them. So, he said, no, we have that taken care of. So they still have one in the basement? Yeah. So, okay, let's go get girls PJs. Yeah, he's watching the girls. CC had, towards the end of the party, CC was on the, the rock climbing thing and she kind of slid down mm -hmm. and was crying. So Chris, you know, ran over and helped her and okay. said she, she wanted her blanket. So her blanket wasn't here. Mm -hmm. So he was having kind of a rough time getting her to calm down. Oh, okay. But eventually she did. How did you do with, with that? Good. Yeah. yeah. He's always been good with that. It's, yeah. He's, he's really hands-on. We yeah, we've always <laughs> just referred him as the mellow guy. Yeah, and Shanann had mentioned, like, we weren't planning on having a third kid, but then Chris said he wanted one, and she said that she agreed to it because <clears throat> she was, she knows, like, what a hands-on dad that he is, and so if it got over, you know, if it got busy or, you know, overwhelming, then... She knew that he'd always be there to help. So it was kind of his idea to have a the third kid. That's what she had mentioned. Okay. Um, on, that was yeah, on Father's Day. Okay. So I was like, oh my god, you know, you're pregnant. Congratulations! I didn't know you guys were trying or going to have another one. And she's like, yeah, we kind of decided. Did you know, she seem excited about it? Yeah. 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 She, she said she was going to because her prior pregnancy, um, she's had health issues in the past. So her prior pregnancies, she's had, you know, not feeling well. The and, the sickness, and she says that so far she's feeling really good. So. Sure. No, sir. And I'm assuming she continued to feel good because she's been traveling a lot. But. Mm -hmm. The prior pregnancy, you know what kind of, just like morning sickness you mean, or like other health issues? Well, she she said that she had lupus, yeah, and uh, fibromyalgia, so she had like just a lot of like body pain. She had migraines a lot. Migraines. Mm, before they had Bella, <clears throat> she mentioned that the doctor said she'd never even be able to have kids. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. She had you know, the, those problems, mm -hmm. um, but I know that her. <clears throat> She's always been a little weird to me, by way of uh, health issues. Yeah. And the girls have health issues too, which isn't. I mean. Well, and she calls herself Shanann, but her mom calls her Shannon. Oh, okay. So she's got a little bit of a rebellious. Yeah. Okay. It's Shanann. Yeah. But she changed the enunciation. Of the right. Yeah, it I was wondering about that because it's kind of spelled yeah. shit. Yeah. yeah, okay. Cause, and we only knew that because her mom came over here for a barbecue one day and called, and called her Shannon. And I'm yeah. like, your mom named you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's how your name was called. Yeah. Me. <laughs> but she's very meticulous with everything. Mm. I don't know if you walk around their house or not, but she's got labels and storage containers in the walk-in pantry kind of said everything's in a certain place yeah, was it quite an organized yeah she, like when we first moved in here she kept asking us if we, if we want to help come over and organize. and organizing oh she really really like ocd about it right. stuff to be in its place and clean and very particular mm. is there any other kind of way she was different you said she's kind of a different 
just particular about a lot of stuff. Okay. Like just with organizing, everything had to be clean. I picked Chris up one night to take him to the airport late, and he couldn't leave the house to go to the airport until he was done cleaning up the basement. It's very controlling in that way. Okay. So we always thought, man, he's just got to be a really good dude to, to you know, she found the right guy. Yeah. If she's going to be that person out, right. she's yeah. found the right she, person She's like the type A, and, you know, like I never, like I always said, they could never be married because he had Mom. that that same, like, <laughs> yeah. way about him. Right. And, you know, they would just butt butt head, heads. So. <laughs> yeah, I mean, even at work, they would hand her his check. Oh, really? Yeah, like she handled all the finances. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. But there was never anything, like... More than just that's their personality. Yeah, it wasn't everything, anything like mean about it or, you know, just stuff. What is that? It's just windy, dude. And like when both Bella and Cece were right babies, angle. she had them on this regimen called, nice. I think it's like Baby Sense or something, where every day just they did the same thing at the same time so that she could get them on like a set. I think our eye will be Oh, level. okay. Uh huh. And okay. That's, how, that's how they go to bed, like. Oh, it did? And now they know every know. night, you know, they know they have to go turn on their Where's white noise machine blood? and it get wasn't in their bed. And it really and really they kind of said they both okay. go, went to the bathroom by themselves and they didn't even have to go to the bathroom, which she found pretty impressive for a three right. four year old. Especially huh. again, because okay. this guy is not potty trained. <laughs> so she's like, yeah, so she's like, compared to you know him, they were like super easy to watch. But that's her style of. And she's very consistent with everything. Yeah. She's the one that can come up with an idea and she will stick it out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah like this whole drive thing. I mean, she's, she's been doing that. She's stuck to it for a long time. And she's doing good she's doing because good. she's consistent. Yeah. There's not a lot of consistent people in the world that can yeah. follow. Like, oh, I'm going to do this this week and actually do it. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, that just lightning. sucks that she's missing. You said she handled the finances. Do you know what their finances were like? Were they. Doing well? Were they in money troubles? Do you have any idea? No. Uh, they, at one point, before she started doing Thrive and stuff like that, they were a little bit struggly. But since then... Yeah. And I know that Thrive pays for their car payments because yeah. they, they earned like a VIP status I know she's level. very good at... at uh, she's a couponer, like... Yeah, she always knows she watches the everything. Deal. She pays oh, attention okay. to savings. Yeah. Like. Well, at one point, she had a part-time job at Children's Place, so she could get discount, like maybe just like one day a week, so she could get discounts on clothes for the girls. She wanted them to have to she have had clothes. Yeah. <laughs> um, and yeah, and I know that the, they would go on trips with Thrive that were because paid, of her that were paid for. Like sometimes she would just go, but sometimes Chris would go too. Like they went to. Dominican Republic, I think. Yeah. Oh, really? She wins um, the trips every yeah, year because she she's focused trips. on trying to win. Um, and so she tries to have Chris go on the bigger trips, you know, like the really, the nice ones. But sometimes I think she, they, she just does conventions, maybe, like these smaller trips that she goes on. Mm -hmm. But I know her and Chris, before she went to uh, visit her mom during the summer, her and Chris had gone to San Diego on a trip for days. Okay. Kenna mentioned they were going to Aspen this weekend on Friday and while she was babysitting Shanann had texted McKenna and asked if she could babysit the girls again on Friday because they were going to Aspen for the weekend and whoever was watching the girls couldn't watch them until 7 and they wanted to leave earlier because of traffic so she was wondering if McKenna could babysit the girls from like 4.30 to 7. And McKenna asked me, and I said that's fine. We would just, she would just have to pick you up because I won't be home from work until five. But then I could pick you up for, right. mm -hmm. um, at seven. And okay. and she told Shanann that, and Shanann said, okay, well we'll talk about it, you know, later in the week or whatever as it gets closer. Okay. And I don't know if the Aspen trip was. Well, and she was just in North Carolina for like five weeks. Yeah. Before Arizona. Uh -huh. Without Chris. Okay. With her parents. But I think Chris came at the end on Facebook. I saw them like at the beach and Chris was there. So. You guys know what that was about? I don't know. No yeah. idea. I remember when they were here on Father's Day, she said she was going to be gone. Yeah. So invite Chris over so he's not bored at home. Yeah. And I don't know. She's never gone on a trip that long before. 
But it's not a normal. She had her parents lived with her for a year, and then she had a friend from Hawaii come out for like six months or something. Oh, really? So it's not uncommon for them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But to the, do those long trips. The girl from Hawaii came out though because Shanann had neck surgery. Yeah. And so she wasn't gonna be able to lift the girls. Oh, and okay. With Chris at work, she needed help. That's gotcha. right. That, I think that girl came out because. Her husband was on a deployment or something, so she's like, mm. yeah, sure, I'll come out and help you. I don't have anything else going on. So she's met all, like, different people from Thrive that, like, we don't know of. Mm-hmm. But, you know, never met. It, the only one we met from Thrive is the girl that, when she was visiting from Hawaii, and that was last summer. Okay. So you said she's kind of a very regimented person yeah. is that true like in her schedule too and i mean is she yeah. kind of a person of habit she does the same thing every day oh uh, yeah yeah i would okay. say yes that's why it was weird that the kids didn't show up at school mm, because she's not the person that the kids wouldn't have been brought on their first day of school when was the first day of school yes yesterday okay. and our neighbors go to school their kid goes to school with their kid. Oh, okay. And he was like, yeah, I didn't see him there. And she'll, she'll post on, always post on Facebook. Like, she's a big Facebook poster. Mm-hmm. To the point sometimes where people are like, okay, like, overkill. <laughs> yeah. uh, but she'll Block post, her for a yeah, while. Like, yeah. she'll post the girls, like, hugging each other before school. And, look, you know, look at the cute outfit that I put them in. And, or, or she'll post a long list of, before I took the girls to school, I... Because of my Thrive, I was able to do laundry, oh, vacuum, like get you. all this stuff done mm-hmm. before I would leave. She does like people to know what she's doing. Yeah. Or if she's, you know, making something that she's proud of for food, she'll post it on there. Of, Look at my homemade thing, you know, that's been in my family for this long. And like when Bella was a baby, she'd always be posting homemade baby food and Bella eating baby food. And like, <laughs> she just really, when she likes to share everything. She likes Ever. to share everything. <laughs> She's a very open, open book. So it would definitely be out of character for her to just disappear like this. Yes. And yeah, and without her phone, like, that's without her phone, her purse, her car yeah. seats, car. Yeah. And and now, like I was thinking, it would be out of character for even her to even go on a morning walk, you know, to go outside and not have anything with her, and then mm-hmm. yeah. come up missing. Like Shanann's a person; if you text her, she always has a phone with her, and she'll text you right back. Like okay. she's she always, always has her phone. always has her phone. How did you guys learn that she didn't have that stuff now? I went over to Chris's last night. I know okay. well enough. It's like when I saw her mom post on Facebook yeah. that Shanann was missing. Uh-huh. Like, I was I read it like six times and I'm like, what is this? Yeah, like is. This and I looked at her and I said, I think Shanann's missing with the girl. And like. And so I called over there because another one of our friends, Dave, lives in the neighborhood, and I'm like, you're closer than I am. Go knock on his door and see what's going on. You know, and he texts me back and he goes, yeah, it's for real. And I was in my truck and I'm like. Because we thought maybe her I'm mom, was, her mom's in North Carolina, so maybe her mom just doesn't know all the pieces of the story and is being, you know, freaked out. And we look at the clock; it's eight thirty, nine o'clock at night. I'm, and like, I'm like, no, no, those kids are asleep at mm-hmm. seven. Yeah, those kids are not in their bed. That's that's a big deal. And so I was in there, and I was there, and you know, it was like, I was like, kids. It's either him or Dave said, yeah, she doesn't have her phone. She doesn't have her car. Cars in the garage. And I go over and I'm like, do you have her phone? Look at her phone. Who did she text? Who called her? Who'd she call? He's like, cops already took the phone. And I said, okay, so they're going to look through the phone. I'm like, she texted me, are the car seats in the car? I'm like, yeah. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. So I'm like, That's maybe she the car seats? Uber pick her up. Or, yeah. yeah. I'm like, if she just said she's out, then, I mean, normally people that are out, they're at least going to take their phone and That's car right. seats. And yeah, and the kids' medication. Some kids' stuff. And, yeah. Like, CC is highly allergic to certain things, like anaphylactic. Because that was my first thing. Oh. I was like, allergic. The, kid, the kid doesn't have yeah. their medicines. And then um, I asked Chris, I'm like, she left the medicine too? Like, he's like, well, we have spare medicine in the basement, so she could have taken something. Okay. 
but I don't know. I didn't want to grill him with questions because obviously he's yeah. going through something and doesn't need to hear it from 37 right. people. I'm like, you need anything, dude? I'll stay here the whole night. I don't care. What was his demeanor like last night? Just like the blank stare. Just that, I don't know, my phone's blowing up. He's that guy. I just want to go finish cleaning and try to go to bed. And I'm like, okay, I guess some people get nervous, get weird, get, they start cleaning. I don't know. <laughs> Do you think that's a normal reaction? I don't know. I don't know what people do. Yeah, everybody you reacts know, differently. Everybody's but in, yeah. Based on what you know of, of him, do you of think him, that's a... I'm sure he cleans a lot. Yeah. He does a lot of work around the house, the yard work, um, but more so she'll have her lists that need to be completed. He probably doesn't know what to do with himself. I'm sure. I'm, I was like... Did he seem concerned? Concerned, yes. Um, just shock, more of a shock face. Like, it's like, I have no idea. I'm like... Where would they go? Who would they go to? Like, I mean, I'm the question head. Like, I've got to try to figure this okay. out. That's the way my brain turns into. Right. Yeah, and like we've, we've been talking about this a, like nonstop. Right. Um, if if obviously if things weren't left behind, it would just be like, okay, they're having problems. problems mm-hmm. yeah. She needs a to, a break or whatever. They mm-hmm. had a fight. Did he say anything like that? Like they had a fight or they had a no. blowout or no. did he? Give you an idea of what he thought? I mean, did he nothing, say anything? Like nothing. He was on the phone with his mom, and then he's like, "Oh, my mom says everybody's making it look like I did something on Facebook, and I shouldn't even look at Facebook." And I'm like, "Dude, I said, should we go look at the park? Should we go walk around? Should we go somewhere?" He goes, "No, the cops told me to stay at the house because I wouldn't even know where to look and what to look for." I'm like, "Cause I always worry, like, what if they went to the pool? I mean, yeah, they." Probably didn't go to the pool, but what if they did go to the pool and they went in the pool bathroom and the door broke on the inside and they couldn't get out? Like, it's just not normal. Yeah, it's just like for her to not be there. Trying to piece all this, like it just it, none of it makes none of it sense. Makes sense. And that's at all. like the bottom line is none of it makes sense. And when you know the people, it's even harder to make sense out of it. Right. And it's freaking weird to see their faces. There was a dead bird on the driveway. On the news, <laughs> to see like their faces random. plastered on the news and be like, we just. Saw like we just saw those girls on Sunday. I don't know if we're and the last people that saw those normal. girls like since then. I mean, obviously we were the last time to see them all together. Yeah, but it's just because they went home from here and it makes you went to work or whatever. And I keep trying to think like best case scenario, but it, I can't stop thinking about. Where I they, just don't but, know if she's vindictive enough to do all this just to mess with them or not you know but you don't know who's who right you really don't i don't know yeah. a million things that could go through your head right you want to err on the side of everything's okay and yeah. she's just being stupid right now but who but where, knows? But, who, but where would she go be stupid like they don't have family out here right it's just friends and and some people, I mean, if, if she's cheating on him or he's cheating on her and they're telling nobody, then nobody knows any, you right. know, any of that. So neither of them have said anything like that to either of you guys? Never. Mm-hmm. They, I mean, they're pretty, they don't even strike you as the type of people that would be having an affair on, any, on each other. Like, they're pretty, like, cookie cutter and, I mean, they're, like, looks like they have the perfect life. Yeah. I mean, honestly. But that's what you see every time on the news. When something happens, it's like, oh, they were the greatest neighbors. They were... Right. I don't know what happened. And at this point, nobody knows what happened. I just hope they're not stuck somewhere <laughs> and nobody's trying to find right. where they're trapped or stuck. Um, so you mentioned that when you saw the thing on Facebook, you called Dave? Yeah. Who is that? He's one of the neighbors. He used to be a... Uh, he used to own a body shop in Longmont. Okay. That used to fix some of our used cars. Oh, okay. But he happened to live in the same neighborhood. Do you know his last uh, name? Neighborhood uh, Cologne, C O L O N. Do you have an address or phone number? I know. Okay. How'd you get a hold of him? No. Oh, phone number. Yes. Sorry. That's address, okay. No. Ruby something. I think he said is his street name. Okay. But yes. Same neighborhood though. Uh huh. Okay. 
literally, I think it's like a street over one of the diagonals. I've never been okay. to their house. Was there anybody else over there when you were over there besides you and Dave? No. Okay. And we were probably there for maybe 15, 20 minutes or so. Just kind of, do you need something from us? Like, what can we do to help? Do you know what? So he, and he said, no, the cops told him to stay at the house. Yeah, he's like, I just, all I can do is wait and hope that they're somewhere and that they're safe and... Do you notice anything in the house looked out of place? Anything like that? No, their house is always clean. Yeah. And so tomorrow we got Who else are their friends that you guys know of? We were just talking we were just, about yeah, that. We were talking about that. We don't really... Yeah. They had some friends that we knew a long time ago. Mm -hmm. But we haven't seen them post on Facebook or anything like that in years. Okay. Yeah, so um, now, now I think they're... Just hang out with like Thrive people, like people they know from Thrive. I think Chris works a lot, yeah. and she works a lot on Thrive, twenty four hours a day, posting and trying to sell Thrive stuff. And I mean, we only see them probably four or five times a year. Yeah. And usually it's them coming over here. Mm -hmm. Like we haven't been over to. We went there for a football game once for yeah, Steelers game. But that was like Steelers fans there. Oh. Okay. That was like a Bella was a baby. But she posts so much stuff on Facebook it says if you Right. No. Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah. Yeah, we definitely know like where they are, what they're doing. Is he on social media at all? Nah, not really. Every now and again he might post something thrive, but it's very um, far between. What does he post on? Facebook. Facebook. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, he's lost a lot of weight. He's been working out. He's like, she posts pictures of, look at my man working out with the kids, doing push-ups with one of them on their back. Like, yeah. that's why it's so odd that it's like a, just, I don't know. He's lost a lot of weight recently? Uh, the last year or two years. They yeah. both, they both did. That's kind of their Thrive thing and they they show themselves and how much weight they've lost since they've been doing Thrive. Yeah. And, Having this extra energy to do work around the house, clean up, you know, I can get up at five in the morning because I have Thrive and right. all that different stuff. Okay. You don't know who any of her friends are or any of his friends? No, they, and we watched on Nine News, um, they interviewed some lady that said she was her best friend, but I didn't recognize her. No. And Dave lives in the neighborhood, but I don't know that he's said hi or hung out with him in years. Okay. They're not, they knew each other, but they weren't neighbor enough. I think they hung out maybe twice since they both lived there. But I knew he lived in the neighborhood, and I was like, hey, go knock on his door. Weird. So you found out on Facebook, right? Yeah, her mom posted something that my daughter was missing. And you see that stuff on Facebook so often, it's just kind of scroll through it and that had to have read it six times. And I'm like, no. Like, there's no way. They were just here yesterday. Well, Chris and the girl. Right. Like, they were just here yesterday. And why, why you know... I mean, me and Chris don't text often, but it's like, why didn't he text me and say, hey, have you seen the girls? Have right. you seen Shanann? Like, where is everybody? What's the reason she didn't come to the party? Arizona. Arizona. She's in Arizona. You know what that was for? Thrive Convention. The Thrive. Okay. Yeah, she had, when they came over on Father's Day, I'd mentioned to her that we're going to be having this party, you know, sometime in mid-August, and she's like, okay, well, I'll be... Look at that. That's cool. It's cake? That's yummy cake. What flavor is it? Strawberry. Strawberry? It looks like strawberry. It's pink, huh? This one's raspberry. Raspberry? She said, um, she's like, um, 
She said just send me like, the email invitation and I have to check my ribs in the back. Yeah, no sure. I won't be here but Chris um Chris will bring the girls. And okay. then I was just looking forward to going this year. So. Okay. The wind gone? Which is, I mean, I think Ooh. kind of normal for her to be out of town now because she's for her, you know, for business and stuff. Okay. She travels a lot. Yeah. Okay. And when she does travel, does Chris usually do stuff with the kids like that? Yeah. I think. Uh, huh? Hey? No, we're not going to. Um. Our neighbors said that they, because they're all um, in the same preschool class, and I think they said they've seen Chris take the girls to a birthday party before. Okay. Mm-hmm. She's been out of town. It was pretty good. And, like, when they got here, like, their hair were in little ponytails and stuff. So, obviously, Chris did that. Right. <laughs> so, I mean, he seems to do a pretty good job at taking on the mom role and taking care of them. This is all just really weird. It's too real. It's too weird. I just picture them sitting in a hole. Yeah. I don't know why. <laughs> What's your guys' theory? What do you guys think happened? My. So. I, I look at the like, you can't put anything past anybody in this yeah. world because mm-hmm. everybody's freaking weird. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, like people could be struggling even past, you know, quirkiness or weirdness, people could be struggling with stuff that you don't know about at any time. And if, is if she gone? is pregnant and having have know, some tea. stress. I'll have some later. You know, I just ate. Stress, stress and stuff and, stuff and the marriage. I mean, I, I, I worry that her life, if I'm being real, mm-hmm. I really worry that she doesn't have any of the issues she says she has. It causes me to believe that she's got a different issue completely. What do you mean by that? Like, it, it almost felt to me like every time a commercial came on TV, she had that disease. Oh, okay. You know, and doctors say, I'm never going to have kids. And then you're on your third one. You know, it's... I, but I'm pretty... I don't know. I'm weird about that stuff, too. Like, I don't believe yeah. everybody has everything they say they have. Yeah. But for her to have everything, mm-hmm. yeah. I don't think so. You know, it's, so it wouldn't put it past me for her to just up and take off. Yeah. It really wouldn't. You know, that that's that's my hardest thing because I, I, I want to believe that that's the truth because I don't want to believe anything else. Right, happened. right. Um, I don't believe Chris would ever harm a fly. Okay. That's me knowing Chris. Right. I don't know what happens behind the closed door. Right. I don't know if her OCD and honey do list and you're doing this before you leave has gotten to him. You know. Doubt it. His personality uh, personality doesn't really convey something like that. Yeah. And would he ever touch his girls? No way. But who, who knows if she didn't come home and say this baby's not yours? You right. know that's all the stuff that goes in my head like mm-hmm. oh I've been in North Carolina because I've been with the dad of the real you know the real dad you, you never know what story pops out of nowhere and causes people to go nuts right but it wouldn't surprise me that she's at somebody's house her friend's house like and she did all that stuff just to Yum. I'm leaving all my stuff behind just yeah. to get in his head because maybe he didn't do something he was supposed to do or I don't know. Hope I hope that's it because yeah. Apple. it's the safer situation. Right. right. Apple. Oh, I don't know. You guys mentioned earlier that she was telling you about the. Stop, buddy. Was, it, not uh, was it him or her that was telling you that the the gender was in the envelope? And he was. He was. Okay. She mentioned it before that they were going to do a gender reveal. Okay. 
he he mentioned I asked him I said who knows who it is because somebody's got to do the reveal right and he said that they have another friend who knows what the sex is so they didn't know no he said they don't know what it is yet but they have a friend who does and was doing something with champagne bottles colors or something oh okay but I don't know who that friend is okay it's why it's all weird because the conversations are way too normal with plans in the future like Right. Typically, if there's no, hey, we're going to Aspen this weekend, can your daughter watch the kids on Friday? You know, if there's something bad that's going to happen, there's no plan. Me, right. flowers. Who knows? And they both seemed excited and happy about the baby. Yeah. She loves having the kids. I mean, she posts everything about them. Right. I mean, as far as we know and see. It's just, uh, I don't know. Yeah. If they were having marital problems, I have no idea. They hit it good? <laughs> yeah, they no don't. Idea. Yeah. They don't tell everybody else if they're having problems. Okay. Anything else that you think we should know? Anybody else that we should talk to? No, I mean... Of? It's all weird. Yeah. <laughs> Way yeah. too weird. Yeah. I mean, if I had to guess, she's somewhere. But she'd never take the kids without the car seat. And that's where my mind always goes back to, why wouldn't you take her phone? If you're going to leave your husband, you take your stuff with you. Right. Unless you want to just be vindictive and cause this big ordeal. Yeah. You'd say, look at what I did. Or So she likes the no. attention on Facebook. Is this something she would do to get attention, you think? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think so. And I think that's the same issue with all the diseases. To get the attention. Does she have one of them? Maybe. Does she have any of them? Probably. Right. Does she have all of them? Probably not. You know, like... Don't know. You know, she's already, she changed the enunciation of her name. Like, what rebellious does she have? I don't know. I'm not a psychologist. Or, right. You know, but I see patterns, not even on purpose. But if I was to guess, she's at somebody's house. Okay. And that nobody on Facebook has said anything. It's, it's going to be the one on Facebook that's not posting anything that's probably where she's at. Yeah. Um, I mean, I guess her friend Nicole dropped her off at the airport, and apparently she's the one that called the cops, according to Facebook anyway. <laughs> but did they talk about it on the way home from the airport? Who knows? Were they in Arizona for however many days together? Sure. Did they talk about him the whole time, maybe? And hey, when I get back, I'm going to do this. Who knows? Right. You know, my my heart goes more towards that direction than the other direction. Being that he was here on Sunday with the kids, and if he had ambitions of doing anything stupid, right, probably wouldn't have been here on Sunday. Yeah. Playing with the kids and having them play with water balloons and. I don't know. I don't know. Does Shanann have Instagram? Do you know? I said maybe. Oh, she has everything, bud. She's got two. Two of everything. That girl's got it. I mean, but I literally, like, see the last time. But I, I hate to think of my friends that way. So right. That's not, you know. Hold it down, Mom. And of course, I get texts from people that, you know, used to work with her, that used to work there and see it on mm-hmm. Facebook. And it's the same, you know, you kind of get some of the same character things. Of, she doing this on purpose? Is that how much time she puts on you know, Kind of a common yeah, thought like, among people. Yeah. Name, she she attention is there something she wasn't getting enough um, attention of? Has she reached her limit in her head? I don't know. Is she tired of living so many lies that she is? Um, I think so. Yeah, they call that your I don't know. I, I don't. Oh, yeah. I just don't think they're safe. I don't know. She's, you know. Don't show me. she's, the, one, she's the reason why I have Snapchat. It's easier to get a hold of her. Can I take a picture of you? Yes, of course. It's easier to get a hold of her that way. Do you know if he has a Snapchat? Thank you, please talk with us. I don't know if he does. I've never. If what? Snapchat or anything like him for him? Uh, Snapchat, I have Snapchat with like seven people. Well, look and see if he's on there because when you download Snapchat, all the contacts in your phone. Because 
go. Where do I go to friends? Have your daughter show you. Yeah. Come on, dude. She's she's 16 almost. No. <laughs> she's got this under control. We we need to hire some 16 year olds to do our phone work for us. Seriously. Yes. She. Well, she wants to go into law enforcement, possibly. So oh, well, good. Can, you can be a phone the phone girl. There you go. <laughs> Can you search friends? Yeah. Type them in? Oh gosh, what are you doing? Add, add friends? That's what I was under because you don't have to come on. Search his names. Yeah, right there. Yeah, right there. Well, can you click on that? I don't even have them added. <laughs> Ooh, let me just he doesn't even there. have a score, so he's probably never used it. That's all right. Before. There's some in for there. Can you take a picture of that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, and I have Shanann's email because... Yeah, what's that? She... She... she I did he buy yeah. her his birthday Do you have party. an email for him, too? So... Oh, I bet you I do. If I... Uh, would it be under his contacts? Uh-huh. It could be... Um, okay, got it? Oh, I don't have it there, but have I ever emailed them? Because it would say, right? Yeah. On my Yahoo? Mine's only on my e because I've only emailed her on e for the birthday parties. No, I don't have anything Chris-oriented on my sent emails or ever typed in. Well, you have an email. And I have... So I've typed your team, Chris Valentine. I got you this thing Shanann's like... I think we were like the only ones that knew out here when we first moved out here. Yeah. No, they knew the people that that Jeannie girl. Daddy. Uh, Janine, Jeanne. Oh, she. The one they she lived knew. with. Yeah, they lived yeah, with. Yeah, they lived with. Uh, they lived with them when they first moved here. That's it. Like while their house was getting built. And then. The last time I That's pretty cool. Her, hey. Baby Hot Wheels, huh? Because she threw the baby shower. Look at that. And who's that? That was a good one. It's like one of those names where I think and it's I Jean tried to like I looked at Shanann's Facebook on my phone to try to look at her friends' names mm -hmm. and I, and everything's blocked yeah. to see her friends that you aren't associated with. Right. But I don't know if they're still. She knows her social media are, really like, good. I haven't heard anything. Or about that. <laughs> Just keep the hail somewhere else. Yeah. Alright, let's go check out. I had a guy that I worked with was at the Cheyenne Mountain Zoo for that. Oh really? His Tesla mm. got smashed. Oh, no. The Tesla. To the ground. Ouch. Like, it looked like the car just got completely lowered. It was probably really? his fault. It, wow. They smashed the pillars. Like these, He said, I've never seen it ever like that. Huh? He's lived in Colorado his whole life. Wow. It's been a bad year. For hell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You guys are consistent with those August birthdays. His due date was August 30th. <laughs> he just came a couple weeks early. Otherwise, oh, we were done for. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Toughest month of the year. No doubt. They spent lots of money. Turning 16, turning 10, turning Jeep in the garage. She just can't wait to get her license. That dog can't wait to get a bite of that food. <laughs> <laughs> She's excited. Oh, good. So thank old. you. Now, the only thing she's got is food. Get some yummy, 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 yummy. Do you? Is that from your party? <laughs> a card. Happy card. Very cool. Uh, take your time. And um, some. And I got some candy. Wow. Oh, I'm good. Thank you. You have it. He's in candy for you. Oh, well, thank you so much. But I don't eat candy. It's bad for you. It's bad for your temple. It's, it's an airhead. How about you eat it for me? I just know. I eat the Okay. Like when she turns Is your hair pink? Red? Red. Red. color red. Your hair is not red. <laughs> it's white. What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't see color white. Looks kind of like blondish brown. Oh, that was 
scary? Okay. That was a downer. She was trying to go skateboarding. Sorry. Buddy. 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 But you did not leave your toys out. <laughs> I was waiting for that. Yeah. <laughs> As I turned around. Well, if someone would just tell them to put them away, <laughs> I'm sure that never happened. Yeah, never happened. <laughs> you all right? I'm going to make a new party. Weird. <laughs> Is it an email? That's what I'm trying to get to. I just see that she replied yes that she's coming, but when I make a guest list, her email comes up. So I have to make a guest list. The only way I know how to find her email. Oh. Yeah, I can't search her friends because her Facebook stuff's all locked up. As far as looking at her friends. Right. Oh, you're getting Shenan's email. I thought you were talking about her friend that they moved out here with. I was like, well, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, so whatever, whatever the correct spelling of her name is her email. Okay, great. Because I can't spell her name any different. It's Shannon with an A. Mm -hmm. Her mom calls her Shannon. I think her name is Shannon. And her mom calls her Shannon. Yeah. I, I like how she changed it to Shannon. It's yeah. kind of it's kind of cool. Yeah, kind of fancy. Yeah, well, it makes people remember the galaxy. Yeah. You know, she's yeah. in the marketing industry. Yeah. Pretty smart. Yeah, makes sense. She sounds seems like a pretty smart person. Yeah. yeah. All righty, Matt, you good? I am good. All right. We appreciate you guys being. Thank helpful. you guys. Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, thank you. Sorry you that uh, you had to be involved in. Some weird sorry, stuff like this yeah. each age, it's no fun. I'll leave my card in case you guys oh, think of something absolutely. else. Or... Can you have my card? Yeah. Kind of, if yeah. you think of anything, call me. If anything comes up, you can talk about, call me. So are you guys taking over for the police then? Uh, or is it no, we, we'll work with the police. Yeah. So uh, CBI and FBI and local police are you know, working on this right now. So we're just here to help. Yeah. We, we work major cases on a regular basis on like what they do. Well, especially for a small town. Yeah. Right. So, yeah, we work, you know, on the side basis. We can catch a kickback and stuff like that pretty regularly. Yeah. So they call us for So is this, like, considered a kidnapping? Or it's considered a missing person. Yeah. We work missing persons all the time. Like, also in all shootings, all these yeah. things, you know. So just more experience uh -huh. and more, you know, on-the-job learning. So... Yeah. And the more people on the ground that come, you know, there's only how many guys with their PD, they can't come out here and talk to you guys. Yeah. They still have to answer calls for service <coughs> and have those guys out there. Yeah, that so makes sense. Mm -hmm. that's, not, that's why we exist, just to okay. supplement. We do take cases, but yeah. they, we don't want it. <laughs> yeah. they, they can keep it, and we just help. Okay. So, yeah. But they're doing a good job. I think they're mm -hmm. trying really hard. Personal yeah. Yeah. So. She's doing a really good job at hiding. She's hiding. You think she's hiding? I don't know. Like I was telling him, I'm like, I err on the side of. She wanted to just uproot and. Well, we've we've seen Gone Girl. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> have you seen Gone Girl? No. <laughs> that? 
Have yeah. you seen John's role? I've yeah. seen it. Yeah. I mean, I know. Ben Affleck, right? Really yeah. The one with Ben Affleck? Yeah. I don't yeah. know that she's dumb enough if he will to take it this far. Yeah. Like, you know? like I could, that's what I'm saying. I could understand that she's, that she takes her stuff and says, I'm, 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 I'm leaving whatever. and I'm not telling you where I went or I went, I went home to North Carolina because that's where all my family that's is. That's the hardest, yeah. I like but, I mean, but sometimes you stuff, leave and then you see all the stuff on Facebook and then you get too scared to say anything right. and now it's gone too far. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Yeah. But, hey, McKenna, just so you know, Mommy. I'd ask anything that we talk about, just keep it to yourself. Mommy. I'll share it with your friends. Uh, or if reporters come knocking on your door, which they won't. But if anybody asks you for questions, just say, I don't want to talk to you. Okay. Yeah. okay. That's between you and me mm-hmm. and your parents. Mommy. What? Okay? All right. Cool. All right. Well, thank you, folks, for your time. You know. Appreciate All it. Right. We appreciate it. Beautiful home. Yeah. See you later, darling. Yeah, <laughs> we'll do our best. Thank you. Thank you.